slower you move, so out of the car you move obviously slower, the more you are interested in what is around you. Now that means that next to all the public transport information, you basically want to have all the shops, all the restaurants, all the museums, all the, uh, the, the cinemas, everything that is around you should be connected to that map. You will walk in the city, yeah, you will, that city will be, um, will be open for you through your device. People will tell, I like the shop, and they will, they will vote for shops, and you will see through your device, okay, this is the most popular shop. Because that's, that's the kind of content you will want to have at a certain moment in time, at a certain place. You are traveling to Barcelona, and at a certain point you say, well, I have a couple of hours to, to do a city walk. Uh, you will want to be able to, to download content related to a good city walk in Barcelona at that proper time, at that proper place. As a cyclist, I may just be interested in, in doing a, in a nice tour of 15 kilometers with, with not too many hills uh, or, or just the other way around. So it's about the journey and not about the destination. One of the games that is developed already in the States is the, the Pack Manhattan game, played in Manhattan, New York, where you have all those right street plans. And they play Pac Man there, so you have three ghosts. Uh, that go after the, the yellow Pac-Man and try to catch him. That's something that's already possible now. So you're running in the streets, you eat the dots, you eat them virtually, and you have those ghosts running behind you, you see them on your screen. And that's what's really funny is that at a certain moment you see those ghosts running behind you. So there is a mix between reality and, and, um, and virtual reality. Personal navigation so far hasn't been that much different than the traditional in-car navigation, uh, using new kind of devices, personal navigation devices, but all of them are mostly uh, focused uh, on, on in-car use. On the other hand, within the personal navigation market, we see a trend to get those devices, to, to use those devices for, for the more personal uh, means like tourism, cycling, walking, uh, uh, recreational stuff, leisure stuff. And, and because there it's about a supportive tool, that GPS is more, or the navigation device is, is more a supportive tool to get along a certain route, to, to experience, enjoy uh, a certain journey, than to get to a certain destination.